What's good, YouTubers and YouTubettes? This is JB Sports back again with another one. A historic event on a historic occasion. All female boxing card going down in the UK, the city of London. You have a co main event in any other scenario, will be a main event fight featuring two champions in the super featherweight division. In one corner, you have IBF and WBO champion Michaela Mayer. And in the opposite corner, you have WBC champion Alicia Bumgarner in a great clash of styles. You have the slickster versus the pressure fighter. You have the athlete versus the dog, which will pay dividends. Now, the athlete says she got dog in her too, and she's going to dog walk the dog. And I believe that's a great mindset going into this fight. You got to make Mayor do something that she's not accustomed to doing. That is, you got to back her up, make her fight off the back foot, make her be effective going backwards. And I believe that if Bumgarner is able to do that, she will win the fight. Now, if Mayor do what she's done to all her opponents, back them up, put the pressure on, overwhelm them with punches, just be vicious, and just show her superior will, her superior tenacity, and she's just a rough, rugged fighter. Very vicious. Now, she, she's in training in the past with uh, Terrence Crawford at his training camp. And she has the same viciousness as Terrence Crawford. And she's going to bring that style to Bumgarner like she's about that style to all her, her previous opponents. So we will see what happens. And we will see what transpires. Bumgarner must establish the jab. She must make... Bumgarner have to reset. Bumgarner's going to have to time the jab and look to counter the jab with the right hand, and that's her money punch. She's got a great right hand, a great looping right hand, a great straight right hand. She's going to be looking to back up Bumgarner, get on the ropes, and go to the body and lean on her, similar to what Tyson Fury did to Deontay Wilde in the third fight. Put her weight on and tie her out and basically take over the second half of that fight. That's round six through ten. I believe she wins this fight six rounds to four in a very competitive, entertaining fight. Bumgarner, I think to get the victory, must knock out. I ain't going to say knock out, but knock down. And I believe maybe multiple times, Mayor, to win a decision. I think if the fight goes to a decision, I just believe the punch rate, the punch output of Michaela Mayor will carry the day, and she wins a very close, very competitive fight, 96-94, six rounds to four. Now, if it is a knockout in this fight, I believe it's going to be by Bumgarner. It could be by Mayor. Mayor has a strong chin, and she believes that uh, Bumgarner ain't been in there with nobody near her level. And she said that in much in the lead-up to this fight, and that's one of the things that have got the ear, that got the ire <laughs> of Alicia Bumgarner. So we will see what happens, and we will see what transpires. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Who you like in this fight? If you think it's going to be a stoppage, give me the round in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts. But before you let me know my thoughts, I'm going to do a little bit more as far as the breakdown to this particular matchup. Alicia Bumgarner must establish the jab, not only to the head, but to the body. Double up on the jab, even triple up on the jab. And when Bumgarner is able to land that right hand, she must hurt Michaela Mayer. There's an old saying in football by the great Al Davis, the owner of the Oakland Raiders, when talking about the quarterbacks. And he said that the quarterback must go down early and he must go down often. And I'm going to do a remix with that phrase by the great Al Davis and tell you that Alicia Bumgarner must hurt Mayor early and she must hurt her often. If she's able to do that, she can get the dub and become the top dog in the super featherweight division. So we will see what happens. And we will see what transpires. If the fight is in the middle of the ring, that favors Bumgarner. If the fight is a fight that's in close quarters and uh, Bumgarner is back is against that ropes, that favors Mayer. So this fight is going to be about real estate, ladies and gentlemen. Who can implement that style of fighting? If there's a fight where the punch output is at a good rate, but not an extremely high rate per round, that favors Bumgarner. That means that she didn't hit her with something that got her respect and making her keep her hands at home more than she's done in a previous fight. If this fight is a high output fight, a high punch rate fight, you see punches landed at a high rate, that favors 
Michaela Mayer. So who can implement that style of fighting? You, you see the style that uh, Alicia Bumgarner fights at. She fights at a certain pace. And it's going to be up to Mayer to disrupt that pace and speed up that pace. If he's able to do that and make Bumgarner fight at a higher pace, a more breakneck pace, that'll favor Michaela Mayer. So we will see what happens and we will see what transpires. I had to fight 96, 94, six rounds to four for Michaela Mayer. I just think that she has a iron chin. I think she's going to be able to hold up to the power that um, Bumgarner possesses. I think Bumgarner is going to hit her because she's got fast hands. She's very athletic. She's got what you call fast twitch muscle. She's going to be able to catch uh, Mayor. Mayor doesn't have the best defense, but she has an iron chin, and she's just vicious, just ferocious. And she just implements her style of fighting and her way of fighting on an opponent and ultimately breaks down the opponent and basically makes her opponent submit, not only physically but mentally, in her fights. She'll be looking to do the same thing to Alicia Baumgartner, who likes to... Look pretty on the outside, fight pretty on the outside, control range, and look to land that right hand, tame her opponent with the right hand, and basically fight at her pace and her style of fighting. Which fighter will be able to implement their style of fighting? Now, Bumgarner has admitted that she got to do something a little bit different. That means she's going to try to dog walk Mayor, so that's something that I haven't never seen in too much in her previous fights. But if she's able to do that and back up Bumgarner, I mean, back up Mayor, what well, she's going to have to do with power shots, hurting her, getting her respect, hitting her with something to make her think, that will go a long ways in getting her to victory this Saturday. So we will see what happens and we will see what transpires. Let me know your thoughts on who you like in this particular matchup. If you think it's going to be a knockout or a stoppage, let me know in the comment section what round you think it ends in. Follow me on Facebook, Gerard.Briscoe.3551. Like, share, and subscribe to JB Sports. The man, the myth, the legend, and I holler.